morning and welcome to ACS Boarding. If I could introduce myself, my name is Jenny Overton and I'm the Head of Boarding. I'm incredibly proud of my boarding house and I'd like to show you around this morning. I would normally meet every family personally, it's one of the highlights of my job, but obviously in these strange times we're unable to do this. So I hope that this short film enables you to get to know me a little bit and enables me to show you our beautiful boarding house here. So before I take you on a tour, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about myself. I think this is really important that you get to know me as the head of boarding. You're going to give me your most precious gift, your son or your daughter, to look after whilst they're at ACS. So I think it's uh, really important that you know a little bit about me. So I've worked in boarding and in state schools all my life. I love working in schools with young people. And I live on site here with my husband, uh, Johnny, and my two children who are aged six and 14. And both my sons go to ACS in the middle school and the lower school and they absolutely love it here. They love the international mix and the facilities and have really enjoyed their, their time at the school. We're really fortunate at ACS to have a fantastic boarding team and I lead this team. We have 25 staff that live on site and who come into the boarding house to help run and lead different activities and our study time, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. But most important in the team are our house parents and you'll meet Mr. Pitcher, uh, Steve Pitcher, one of our house parents in a few moments, who is here with me in lockdown and currently filming this film. One of the first things that families ask me on tours is can we see the bedrooms and I know they're really important to our young people. So we have a range of different rooms and now I'm going to take you into one of the grade 11 rooms where there are two children to a room. As you can see I'm using my card to get in. All of our doors have security with cards. If I can invite you in. They're beautiful, light, airy and spacious rooms. We spent, um, invested a lot of money in making them comfortable for our young people. We've got high quality bed linen and mattresses on the bed and everything here is uh, only a couple of years old. So you have your own study space and there's plenty of storage. There is a telephone for keeping in contact with home and all of our uh, rooms have beautiful views out onto the woodlands or the trees beyond. I'll just show you um, the bathroom, which is an ensuite bathroom. And you can see that there is um, a power shower <laughs> and private facilities that are cleaned every day by our on-site cleaning team. One of the great things about our rooms here is the amount of storage space. You have a beautiful double wardrobe, lots of different cupboards and the students find these safes very useful just for keeping their personal belongings in. Welcome to one of our grade 12 rooms. So this is for our older students in the highest age range. They're very popular here in beautiful Woodlands House. So these are single rooms, um, again with lots of plenty of storage Always beautiful views. This, uh, this bedroom here looks out onto the woods um, afar. And again, a private ensuite bathroom, as you saw earlier. And plenty of storage and uh, the safe as well. This is a typical uh, bedroom in Fields House. So for our students in grades seven to 10, they're lovely rooms, but they're quite hard to show you on a film because they're downstairs and an upstairs. So the students get a lot of privacy. They either take the downstairs space or the upstairs space. So if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you the upstairs space. So this is one of the upstairs bedrooms and you can see there's a very large desk for all the study that students are going to be doing. And they have a large wardrobe, bedroom area, plenty of storage and the safe similar to I showed you in the other room. Now 
And this is one of the downstairs spaces in the fields rooms. Again, they're nice and light and airy with your bedroom space, your desk and your storage area and the ensuite toilet, which is on the ground floor. We offer co-educational boarding here at ACS. We believe this is the best way to prepare young people for life beyond school when they'll be working in mixed gender workplaces. However, we do ensure that we have girls and boys wings in each of our houses and we use an electronic card system and the supervision of our staff to make sure that our bedroom rings do remain private for the different genders. In each of these boarding wings we also have social spaces so it means that the girls can hang out as girls if they wish and the boys as well. So I currently stood in the boys common room where they have the pool table and all our common rooms have lovely cooking facilities and I know that our young people really enjoy making dishes, many of them from around the world and sharing foods from their different cultures. I'm hoping that this film is explaining some of the practicalities to you and laundry is often one of the questions I get from, from parents, perhaps more than the children. So in Woodland's house, so that's for our older children, they come to the laundry room like this one here and they bring their basket of stuff and they wash it themselves. But we do do an introduction at the start of the year on how to do your washing, how to use the washing powder and so on. So we do teach them the skill of how to do their own laundry. And we even have ironing boards available if they wish to use them. In our younger years, in the Fields House, it's a mixture of children wanting to do their own washing and also using the laundry bags like I'm holding here and they put their laundry into the bag and it's collected by our on-site uh, cleaning team, housekeeping team, who do the washing once a week. All our machines here are industrial strength, so they are quick washing and it does mean that there's always um, av available machines for the students to use. Welcome to the grade 11 and 12 kitchen area. This is another popular hangout place in the evenings. We know that our students really enjoy cooking and it's a great way to mix and share recipes from all over the world. I walked into here the other day and uh, there was a student cooking plantain and I also found a group cooking noodles in the other corner. So they're really popular places in the evening and we run cooking clubs on a Saturday morning in both our boarding houses. So they're well equipped and here for our students to use. So I'm currently sat in the grade 11 and 12 social area. This is one of many social rooms that we have in Woodlands House. It's a really popular hangout place with our older children. We have a huge television that they like to watch uh, movies and sports on. There's comfortable hangout seating and it's just a great place to kind of hang out at the end of the day and mix with students from all over the world. Both our boarding houses have snack shops or tuck shops and our students enjoy in the evening coming to the shop and buying a bar of chocolate or some noodles or just hanging out with their friends really and socialising at the end of the day. So this is Woody's Goodies which is in Woodlands House and about all our houses have um, these lovely um, kitchen areas as well. So if I can take you into this is the Woodlands kitchen area. And at the end of the day, we will put snacks here at half past three and we also have treats that come out about half past nine. And we always have fresh fruit um, and snacks like uh, bread, butter, toast and so on that students can make a hot drink or a snack. This is the music room in Woodlands House, but we also have one in Fields House. And our students enjoy coming here in their free time to practice and develop their music skills. We've got drum kits in both of the houses luckily with headphone use for our house parents and also we have the electric pianos and various other instruments that students can use as well. So we have social spaces of all different shapes and sizes here in both our boarding houses and I'm currently stood in the grade 10 common room. 
Each of our grades in Fields House has a common room just for them. It means that they can uh, have the safety of meeting just within their own year groups. So for particularly for our younger boarders, this is really important to them. And in each of the common rooms we have comfy seating, uh, television and the all-important gaming devices. We do have strict uh, safeguarding rules, making sure that all the games are age-related and go through our firewall system. But I know our students certainly enjoy playing them on a rainy Sunday afternoon. One of the things that is special about ACS is our Ready to Mix programme. And we work really hard to make sure that our boarders get out of their bedrooms, get off their computers and mix and socialise with other students. And there's a whole different parts to this programme. On a Wednesday afternoon, we offer a trip to the local town, uh, which is supervised by our members of staff. One night, we offer an evening wellness swim, so our students can have a lovely relaxing swim just before they go to bed. We have an inter-house competition one evening a week, mainly sports, but also some quizzes and talent shows and things also mixed in to that programme. And we offer a wide range of activities at the weekends. On Saturday morning, we ask all our students to join in our enrichment programme, whether that's going out with our house parents on the mountain bikes, trying a new craft, baking, doing some sport, going to the gym, going for a run, playing cards, whatever you want to do, but getting out there and trying something new. We know that some teenagers can be slightly reluctant at times to take part in different activities. So we use a special enrichment profiling sheet here at ACS to keep track of all, what our boarders are doing, to make sure that some people aren't doing maybe too much and making sure that everybody is taking part in something. So we meet with our boarders regularly and ask them what clubs are you doing, what activities, what hobbies, what interests, just to make sure that everybody is getting out there and trying something new. I'm often asked what's different or special about ACS and our Ready to Learn programme is one of our key features. I'm currently sat in the Woodlands study room and as you can see there are ample spaces here for students to sit and learn either independently or small groups. We're very well equipped, we have the Apple Macs, we have a small library and really nice airy light study spaces. The key part of our Ready to Learn programme takes place between seven and half past eight every evening, where we have a team of teachers come onto, into the boarding house. Many of them live here. They are teachers that work in the main school and they come and help our students with their homework. This is an amazing resource for our young people to have. It's very unusual in the boarding industry. You will often find boarding schools have one or two adults working in the evening. We employ up to 10 adults every evening who are working in the boarding houses, helping your son and your daughter with their homework. We work closely with the middle school and the high school so we know what homework children are set. That common answer of, I haven't got any work, miss, doesn't really work here because we use um, communication between the high school, middle school and boarding to make sure that we know what homework students have got and we have teachers on hand to help them, whether that be math, science or languages, we're here to kind of help and support. As well as this, we use data to track. That's one of my jobs. I track every student in boarding to make sure that they're reaching their academic potential. I mentioned the Ready to Learn programme, and this actually takes place in students' own personal bedrooms. As a parent myself, I know that the health and well-being of your children is really important, and we have an excellent equipped medical centre at, here at ACS, which adjoins our boarding houses. So we have three um, consultation rooms, I'm stood in one now, as well as sick bays. And we have um, a team of nurses that work here, and one of our nurses, Liz Weeks, um, specifically looks after boarders and makes sure that their health needs are well catered for. One of the other things that's very special about ACS is our Ready to Listen project. 
And this is part of a well-being initiative that we have introduced. Research tells us that one of the most important things we can do for young people is to listen to them. And although that sounds quite simple, in a very busy life, in a busy boarding school, it can be difficult to find the time. So ACS, we have found this time and we have worked very hard as a staff team to train our team and to devise new rotors, which allows us to give 1,000 hours of listening time to our boarders. We will have our team sitting down and meeting with each young person for up to an hour on a regular basis. And they sit in rooms like this. This is the Lotus Room in Fields House and it's been designed by the boarders and by our house parent team to be a tranquil, quiet, listening space. The Thousand Hour Project is not about collecting data and writing endless notes, but it is a project that would act like a parent would to sit down with somebody, to press pause, to have a cup of tea and ask how their day or their world is going, to listen to how their studies are going, how they're feeling living away from home and beyond that what their hopes, dreams and aspirations are for the future. We're very proud of the Thousand Hour Project and how it has been running so far has been really positively received by parents and our boarders and our staff. We know that sleep is really important to our teenagers. So in Fields House, that's for grades seven to 10, we have introduced a system that asks our young people to put all of their devices, and we know they have many of them, their phones, their iPads, their laptops, and so on, into these specially designed uh, charging units. So each border, as you can see, has their uh, special place just for their devices and it's part of our good night routine where they'll come down, have a little chat with our house parent team and pop their uh, devices into the spaces and charging them up ready for the morning. Hello, I'm Steve Pitcher. I'm the house parent of Fields House uh, for the 7th to 10th graders. Um, I'm a present as everyone else here in lockdown uh, within the school, but continuing to enjoy it. I was in fact born in a boarding school myself and have worked in one almost all my life, raising three children who have now left and gone off to university. I'm now here looking after your children and really enjoying myself. Not today, sadly, in lockdown, Fields Boarding House is um, obviously not the lively place it normally is. This is where I sit when pupils come back from school. I'm here to welcome them or one of my colleagues. Uh, and one of the first things they'll do coming back from school is they'll use our iPad system boarding wear for signing themselves in. So they let us know that they're back from school. If they then have to go off to play sport, uh, to play music, they will use this same system to let us know exactly where they're going to be. We use the boarding wear system also uh, if they're going off at the weekend or very, very occasionally during the week. Um, so we keep a clear track of exactly where they are. And for any off-campus visits of more than two hours into the local town, we always contact parents through the app and they can give permission. So we have a constant uh, regard for where the pupils are at all times. Thank you for spending a little bit of time watching this film and I do hope that it shares with you a little bit about ACS boarding and shows you why we are so special. I look forward to meeting your sons and daughters and yourselves we run an induction programme in August, uh, the start of term, so I really hope that you're able to join us there and we really look forward to meeting you in person soon.